Bubble Pops, the holidays are finally here and we have some beauty goodies. Actually, this month I'm starting a new little series. I'm calling it Beauty in December. And for today's December beauty treat, we have one of the most amazing, amazing makeup sets I think I've ever seen or heard of. It's called Christmas in New York. Christmas in New York? Wow, it looks like it's in London or something. Cool. If you guys don't recognize what this is or never heard of it, it is the Too Faced Grand Hotel Cafe makeup set. Best part about this makeup set, it is eggnog, peppermint mocha, and gingerbread scented. <laughs> if you can believe it or not, all of the makeup, the eyeshadows, and the blush smell like yummy holiday scents. Seriously, like who wants or needs eggnog scented eyeshadow? Like gross. So there it is. I'm so surprised to see what's going to be in here. I've never opened it. I've been waiting for this video. It's going to be good. And since that makeup set didn't come with any lip color or lip shine, I have a five pack of Pastel Pop Simply Sweet Lip Glosses. These are so cute. Not only are they really cute, they have yummy scents. Yummy scents? So there it is, my little bubble teenies. Time to kick off this December beauty video. We are gonna open up the Grand Hotel Cafe set and then the lippies. Let's do this. Our start in with the Grand Hotel Cafe. Such a fancy name. And I don't know if you've ever seen this brand Too Faced, but they have the best makeup. It's super shimmery, it's got a lot of pigments. I cannot believe it. Okay, so basically here is the back of the box showing the three different makeup palettes. We get the eggnog scented, peppermint mocha, and gingerbread. I just do not know how they thought of it. Wow. It's like a super good idea, but like super weird. Gingerbread makeup, like whatever. It also comes in this limited edition little dollhouse box, and there's like three little books. These are what the palettes look like. Nothing left to do but pop open this box and present to you the Grand Hotel Cafe. Oh yeah. Straight out of the box, here it is. Would you look at this? It does look like a little dollhouse. That is like the little makeup holder. It's got all these little windows and a beautiful wreath. Cutest thing ever. And like at the top of the hotel, it's like snowing. So pretty. Time to remove the top and open the doors to the hotel. See what's going on in here. Wow. Bubble, seriously, the cutest thing you like ever opened ever. Cutest thing, like it's got little makeup books, it's got little Christmas trees. I love it. How cute is that? It's got like a little checkered floor. It's got all these little details. It's so, so pretty. And the thing I love about this is you can actually keep it and always store the makeup inside. Best idea. So inside of here, we get a mascara and three books. And like take out this mascara. Gotta try that. I am going crazy. I cannot even look at this stuff. It's just too cute for words. I can't even believe it's makeup. So inside of that box, we get these three books, which are actually the makeup palettes. This is the eggnog latte scent. Look at it. It's got little ornaments and stars. Loving these pastel colors, and it's got a little to and from. You can give this as a gift. Look at it, it's got gold pages. Bubble, I'm speechless. Beautiful. Yes, <laughs> this is better than I thought it would be. So inside the eggnog latte palette, we get one, two, three, four, five, six different shadows and a blush. Let me see how it smells. Oh, I don't even want to ruin it, it's so, so pretty. Wow. <laughs> it actually smells like eggnog. It actually does, like, I can't take it. Unbelievable. I took a little, little teeny little drop of this on my hand, a little smudge. It smells like eggnog. It's got that cinnamony, kind of milky scent. It's just unbelievable. So we're gonna look at all the palettes and then we're gonna test them one at a time. Ooh, look at this one. Peppermint Mocha. For this book here, it's got such a cute little picture. I don't know which one is better. They look like these little itty bitty books or diaries. It's got a candy cane, little cookies or little candies. It's just adorbs. Wow. Different colors. 
Let me smell it. Let me see if it smells like peppermint mocha or like Starbucks. This one smells super good. It does, it has a little bit of a peppermint kind of minty smell. It also has that coffee, like that mocha. I don't know how they do it. So we get six other eyeshadow colors, another blush. Let me just try to compare them. They're definitely different. Oh yeah, these look beautiful. And if you're not familiar with Too Faced, the pigments on these shadows are amazing. And this, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like maybe 40 or $50, but it's well worth it because these will last you a super long time. Ooh, look at this gingerbread cookie. Cutest one, hands down, cutest. The third palette, and I have to say, this is definitely the most adorable one. It's got a little gingerbread man and little cookies. <gasps> Such a contrast to the other two. It's got like this chocolatey color. And it's gonna be gingerbread scented makeup. Wow, ooh, this is so pretty. It's like a bronzer one. Give it a little smell. Delicious! It smells like the little gingerbread man. Oh, it's so good. And these two colors here are just catching my eye. Look at the sparkle. Kind of like a pinkish purple and this gold. Nothing left to do but test these babies out. First up on the menu at the Grand Hotel Cafe, get ready for some gingerbread cookies. All right, I'm a little sweet as we are starting with the gingerbread cookie. I don't know why, I just cannot wait to try this one. Let's open the book and swatch them. Bubble, this thing is like completely crazy. The second you open this up, uh, it smells like a gingerbread house. Not even kidding. Book, or should I say makeup palette, is opened, and here are the pigments or the names of the shades. We get ginger cream, maple syrup, ginger snap. Ooh, this is the one that I'm eyeing. We get winter dream. Cup of Joe, black coffee, and the blush is gingerbread. Here's another close-up. Those pigments look so, so amazing. Some of them are shimmery, some of them are like a little bit matte, and definitely this has a shimmer to it. It's like a bronzer blush. I'm gonna get my little finger, swatch them on my hand, and see what they look like. The power of the Too Faced. Look at this. Bubble, I'm speechless. Speechless. This is such a high quality makeup. These colors are just so amazing. I just can't even take it. First of all, the two that I knew were going to be good are these two shimmery ones. I think they were Ginger Snap and Winter Stream. They are beautiful. So here they are, we got all six shades of eyeshadows and the blush bronzer, which is so nice. That is gingerbread. Over here we get the ginger cream, maple syrup. Oh, this is my ultimate fave, ginger snap. Look at the shimmer on that. We get winter dream, another good one. Cup of Joe. I'm not crazy about this one, black coffee. It's a little too dark. And I really, really love the blush. On to the next palette. I'm so impressed with these. I just can't believe it. And your face is going to be smelling like a cookie. Next up on the menu at the Grand Hotel Cafe, we're getting peppermint mocha. Oh yeah. Time to figure out what's going on inside the peppermint mocha book. Wow. A cookie to peppermint mocha. This is such a cute little book. Time to swatch all the colors. We get peppermint cream, Christmas blend. Ooh, this is really nice. Something that I would wear every day. Peppermint mocha, candy cane, sprinkles, coffee chip. Ooh, <laughs> it's making me hungry. And the final one is this pink beautiful blush named Santa Baby. Ooh. That is, so just like the last one, I'm gonna swatch out every single color. I washed off my hand. Let's do this. And the funny thing is this one is called Candy Cane. It's like a light baby pink. I don't get why they called it that, but come on. Yeah, Bubble, just like come on. Don't question it, just like swatch it.
Let me close it. <laughs> Here are the colors of the Peppermint Mocha Book. Ah, oh, they smell like peppermint. They're kind of like on the pinkish side. Love them. So over here we get this white color. Kind of chalky but super blendable into the skin. Peppermint cream. Second one, we get Christmas Blend. I really like this, but I think I would use it more as like a top coat because it's not too dark. It's almost like a translucent kind of shimmer. We get Peppermint Mocha. I really like it. It's brown, but it's got a lot of dimension. It's got a lot of shine to it. It's not black. Yeah, it's not black. Okay, whatever that means. One I really liked the least was the candy cane. Here it is. You can barely see it. It's such a kind of matty, kind of pink color. It doesn't stay on the skin too well. I just did not like it. But I did love this one. Look at that sprinkles. Here it is. It is so Oh, so cute. It's kind of like a pinkish, reddish, metallic kind of shadow. Put a little bit more on so you can see it. It's just so, so nice. That also looks like a lip gloss. This one right here is Coffee Chip. Very nice, almost like a dark brown, bronzy, a little bit sparkly. Very good for like New Year's or the holidays. Not something I would wear every day. And this is Santa Baby, your pinkity pink blush. Really nice, not too dark, very subtle. And out of all these colors, I think my favorite was Sprinkles and the Christmas Blend. For dessert, up on the menu with the Grand Hotel Cafe, get ready for some eggnog latte eyeshadow for dessert. Final palette before we look at those lippies, we get the Too Faced Eggnog Latte. Smells so good, smells so fresh, almost like a milkshake. As soon as I opened it, look at that little ornament, and the colors are here. We get Frosty Nog Eggnog Latte, ooh, iced coffee, <laughs> it looks super pretty. Skinny Latte, Cold Brew, and how funny is this? Central Perk, little throwback to friends. Friends? Friends? Like, what is friends? And the final blushy is called Peach Cobbler. Such a yummy name. All of these are like coffee scents, coffee names. We're gonna start with the Frosty Nog and finish up with the Peach Cobbler. Swatch it. I don't like that name, Frosty Nog. <laughs> it sounds so weird. Oh, and like we didn't even look at this mascara. Let's see. Ooh, looks like there's fibers. I'm sure you would get such voluminous lashes with this. <sighs> can't wait to try it, just can't. my fingers all day. These are just, the colors are amazing. The scent is amazing. You just can't go wrong with this. So here is the swatch. These are more like natural colors, very subtle, and I cannot see a bad thing about one of them. They are so, so good, especially this one. You like that one? That one was called like cold brew. <laughs> so crazy. So we get Frosted Nog right here, kind of like a milky one, very matte, not crazy about that one, but it's still like a nice base coat, Eggnog Latte. Now that one is really nice, super subtle, shimmery. We get the Iced Coffee, which is kind of a bronzish, love that. Skinny Latte, I'm not too crazy about this one, but it's not that bad. Ah, but here is the winner. We get the cold brew. This is so nice. It's kind of like a bronzish, goldish, shimmery shadow. We've had some like this in the other palettes, but not as nice. And Central Perk is kind of like an emerald green. Very metally looking. You mean metallic? Metally? <laughs> okay. And the Peach Cobbler blush is right here. Also another very subtle one. Whenever I wear blush, I put a little of a brown bronzer and then I'll put like a pinky peachy color on top. So that is perfect. And if you want to make it a little bit darker, all you need is a couple more swipes and you can just kind of build the color on there. Beautiful. Ah, smells beautiful. So 
there you go guys there is a first for everything and today I got my first scented makeup I have never heard of this and when I heard that Too Faced was coming out with this Christmas collection I had to get it and when you're done with these makeups you can just like stack them in this little dollhouse it's really too precious for words not much to say about it like you put the gingerbread eggnog peppermint milk and get your little mascara pop it right in there close the door and then like cover it with the hotel roof seal it off Grand Hotel Cafe that is what's up what else can I say about this? Not too much. I give it 100% an A+. Loved everything about it. I love the case. I love the scents. I love the pigments. Probably one of the best things I've ever seen. <laughs> it really, really is. Now we gotta move along to the lippies. Maybe this is like the Plaza Hotel in New York. <laughs> I just thought of that. Actually, this is not the same brand. It's not a Too Faced lip set, but it's called Simple Sweet. And I thought it matched so, so well with those pinky kind of pastel colors. Pastel pop. Wow, it's like sheer color bomb. Like, they look like baby lips. Is that what they mean? Wow. Something else I just thought of with this set, they could have put like one book filled with lip gloss, like a little lip gloss palette, because there were so, so many eyeshadows and a lot of them were super similar. So next time, I think if they make this, they should put some glossy. But for now, we have our own. We got five of them right here. Ah! Check them out. These look cute, but like, I don't get it. They're all the same color, almost. So finally, they're out of the package and I can see the scents. So we get melon. Strawberry, ooh, peach, vanilla, and grapefruit. Ooh, that's a weird one. Start from left to right, and we're starting with the melon. Ooh, this is such a cute little package. It's got little hugs and kisses, XOs on there. And I don't know if it's supposed to be watermelon or like honeydew. Let's see if it has any pigment. Just a sheer shimmer, not really a pink color. Smells amazing. It smells like watermelon candy. Like Jolly Rancher watermelon. <gasps> Too good. Super good one. You're going to have some Christmas scents on your face and you can put your lips with some fruity scents. Ooh, that smelled like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, like a Laffy Taffy. Moving on to Frashay. That bubble Frashay means strawberry. Like, get it right. Ooh, another pink. A little bit lighter. Try this one out. Another sheer one. I thought these were gonna have color, but now that I'm looking at it again, sheer color bomb. So, not really, but this one doesn't smell as good as watermelon. It's strawberry, kind of plain, nothing too special. Third one up, we get the peachy. Ooh. Another pink color, of course it's gonna be clear. This is so good. It smells like almost a peaches and cream. I love that. Really creamy. Probably my fave so far. But I wish these had pigments. They are just way too clear for me. Oh, like vanilla. Maybe it's gonna smell like a milkshake. Ooh, I love that pink color. Why are they clear? Why? Let me smell it. I changed my mind. Peach is not my favorite. Oh, this smells like a pure milkshake. It smells like ice cream. When you look at this, it just looks like a plain old pink lipstick, but when you smell it, it's like vanilla frosting. This one is literally going into my purse right now. I need to use this. Oh, it's gonna make me hungry. It smells like a cupcake. The final final of these five lip balms that were actually clear. I don't know why they were like that. We get pample mousse. In other words, grapefruit. Let's see. Mousse. Grapefruit. This one is not too bad. I'm not a big fan of grapefruit, but I have to say it's kind of like citrusy. It smells more like orange, but nothing too, too great. And that has kind of a dark color, but it definitely doesn't give any pigment. Not crazy about that one either. And here's what they all look like. Almost the same exact shade. They are clear, but if they did have color, they would be a little bit different. And out of every single one of them, my favorite was this, vanilla. It smelled like fresh ice cream. And my second fave was probably melon. My favorite was pample mousse grapefruit. Just because I love the name, nothing else. And there you go, guys. The first video kicking off beauty in December. I absolutely loved it. Such a unique thing. Scented makeup. Great for the holidays. I love the mascara. Even though I didn't try it, I think that was a nice little treat. 
all of these lippies. They didn't have great color, but they smelled really good. And we are going to have so many more videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.